Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at my CZ Scorpion build. So the Scorpion is probably one of the most popular builds that I have done and I get a lot of questions about this. So I figured it'd be best just to make a full overview video showing off everything that I've done. This thing has seen a lot of different faces, which I'll show you guys some pictures here of the different looks this thing has been through. Uh, <laughs> I put a lot of different parts into this gun just to try different things. And this here I think is kind of where I want to stay with. I'm really happy with how it's turned out. I think it looks really sharp. And so far it has worked really good for me and what I've used it for. Now, if you guys are interested in my full review or my thoughts after a year of having this, go ahead and click here and that will take you to those videos. But this is just going to be going into overview of the parts that I've gone with and the build list that I have here. So start with the butt and we'll work our way up from there. Uh, we got a SB Tactical PDW brace that is meant specifically for the CZ Scorpion. This was the very first brace that I put on this and I really like this thing. I think it fits really well, makes it really small and compact and allows it to fit in bags really easily. I use the Vertex Ready Pack for this gun specifically and that works good for me, but I like this brace. I'm not really set or sold on one particular brace. I might switch it up. I kind of think about going to this one again because it did have a really cool look when I had this one on there. I didn't really get a ton of time to test this, which this will get a full review here eventually, but I might be switching the brace up here a little bit, but that's small things that uh, are easy to switch just for fun. But so far, this one is the one that kind of won the race so far. Now we go for the grip. This I think is a really important thing to change, especially with the Scorpions. I don't like the grip angles of the stock uh, angle. So I went with a Strike Industries grip and I like the angle of this much better. It's a lot better angle and a lot more comfortable. That's gonna be a personal preference thing, but if you're like me, you're really gonna wanna switch this out. I like this because it does have a compartment here as well to keep things in, which uh, it's nice to have grips that have that just for a little extra storage if you need that. Now the safety selectors are Strike Industries as well. I'm not really happy with these ones honestly i think they work well and it keeps this away from my finger which is an issue that i talked about in the full review is how this can kind of get in the way when it's in that position and it kind of hurts uh so it works well for that there's nothing really wrong with these but with the trigger that i'm using it's the franklin army binary trigger uh kind of doesn't work super well with it so i'm probably going to replace those and go with a different design from strike industries uh but I haven't decided exactly what i want to do with it. i'm probably going to do the safety delete on this side and go with something similar to this one or the ak style that they make for this side. Haven't decided yet. I'm going to be playing around a little bit with that, but it is a good idea to replace those and get something different because I'm not a big fan of these stock ones. Now, like I said, the trigger is a Franklin Armory binary trigger, which is super fun and just makes this thing a little bit cooler to go out and shoot. Uh, not so much now because of ammo prices, so I really don't use it nearly as much, but back when uh, the ammo prices were a little bit more manageable, uh, it was a lot of fun to go out and play with. So now down here, you're going to notice a lot of these things are from Strike Industries because they do make a lot of really cool parts for the Scorpion. This is their magazine release. I really like it because you can release it from here, you can release it from here, and you can release it from here. So there's a lot of different points that you can use this, and it's just a little bit more user-friendly than the stock one that it comes with. It gives you a lot more points to use. I just find it easier to come right here and pull down. It just seems a little bit more natural for me than the stock one where it kind of made you pull right here, which is... I mean, it worked, it was just a little bit more goofy. So I did switch that out and I'm happy with the change there. Now up here, you'll notice I switched out these sling points. So these are from Strike Industries. I have a straight face one and then an angled facing. I'm not really a big fan of the hooks that the Scorpion comes with stock. I think it's kind of goofy because not very many people have slings with those little hooks to clip onto. Uh, so I replaced those pretty quickly and I'm much happier with these because I have a lot more quick attached slings than I do the other style. So this works better for me. And then this SB Tactical brace also has a point here. So you can hook it here and here. Uh, me personally, I'm a really big fan of two-point slings over one point or any other style. The optic I'm going with is the Primary Arms MD25. Uh, this has been a really good optic. It hasn't given me any trouble. Uh, it's still fairly new to the market. I mean, I think it's within a year. Still pretty new. It has night vision capabilities. I have a full review on this if you guys want to check that out. Uh, but so far, it's been a really good optic. I haven't had to change, change the batteries or anything. And that's lived on this for a little while. And it works really well. It's a good size, has a good field of view, and uh, it's nothing too crazy expensive. Uh, Primary Arms is really good about making solid optics for a good price. But so far, I've really liked this optic. And it fits well in this gun, so I really haven't decided that I want to change it or felt a need to change it. So I think this is a good choice for the setup. Now I have an extended charging handle coming, but it was on back order, so it should be here sometime. But right now I'm just running the stock charging handle. Now for the handguard. This is what really makes this gun stand out, I think. This is from Strike Industries. Uh, what I like about this is this fake suppressor here can be taken out and interchangeable with a real suppressor. So uh, if you want to ever suppress this, you can take this out and put a real suppressor and it's gonna look the exact same way and fit the same way as well. So that is cool. Uh, I don't see myself ever really suppressing this in the future because there's other guns that I would rather suppress first uh, before I ever did this. 
this one. So I think the fake suppressor looks just fine on there. And I think it looks really sharp on this gun. But I think this handguard is a really simple modification you can do to make this gun stand out completely different and make it really original looking. I end up putting a flashlight here somewhere. Eventually I had a Surefire and then an Enforce on here. Not really sold on which one I'll put on, but I'll eventually put a flashlight on this because this will be going with me in a bag. And I think it's really important to have flashlights on guns like that. Uh, but other than that guys, here is the gun. I hope you guys really like it. Let me know what you think. Uh, let me know what you guys have on your Scorpions. If you guys have some cool modifications that you think I should try out. But right now, this is probably going to stay like this for a while because I'm really satisfied with how it turned out. Um, and huge thank you to Victor's Legacy because they're the ones that helped me with this handguard and put it on. They also put this on for me as well. So I was having a lot of trouble with a barrel nut because uh, <laughs> I don't know who put that thing on, but it was impossible. I was getting really frustrated uh, in the gun room trying to get it off. So I sent it off to them and they got it fixed really quick for me send it back to me, put everything on for me as well. And I really appreciate them for that. They're also the ones that do all my Cerakote and they're a great group of guys. So if you ever need a Cerakote or some work done to your guns, gunsmithing wise, uh, hit them up as Victor's Legacy. Like I said earlier, if you guys want to see a full review or my thoughts after a year of having this, uh, you guys can search that video up and see my thoughts. Uh, but other than that, thank you guys so much. I appreciate you all. If you guys want to help support me in the channel, there's a couple ways to do that down below in the description. There are a couple discount codes from companies that I trust. And then there's a link to my website from there. There's links to other websites like Brown Owls, Air Precision, Premier Body Armor, anything you purchase using those links does help me out in the channel a ton. So thank you guys so much if you do those things. If not, I just appreciate you guys being here, liking, sharing, and subscribing. That stuff does help as well. Another company helps to support me and the things Things that I do is howitzer. Really love these guys and the things that they do because they donate 5% of proceeds to charity, which is really cool. And they've donated a ton of money and they have awesome apparel and clothing that they come out with. And then another company is TA Targets. Really appreciate this company as well. And they have great quality targets. And you can use code Tactical Advisor to save 10% off of their website. Once again, thank you guys so much. I appreciate you all always being here, watching my content, following along, staying active. It means a lot to me and it really helps out the channel. I've been really busy. Shot Show's coming here really quickly and it will be here before we know it. So I'm trying to get everything planned for that. Uh, the last two years that I went, I waited a little bit too long to plan everything and get things ready. So this year I'm really getting an early start on it, getting everything scheduled, getting the hotels lined up. Uh, I got to get my cameraman and a couple other guys out there as well. So trying to get everything ready and lined up for that. So if there's things you want to see from there, let me know and I'll try to make sure they're in the schedule. Thank you guys again. I appreciate you all.